Today I'm going to teach you how to use a very, very, very useful, important tool in the calculator. And that is our tool that gives us the line of best fit and the um, correlation coefficient. Now, if you don't know what these things are, I'll give you a brief idea. Um, there will be another video somewhere that gives you a better idea, but I'll give you a brief idea for now. So imagine you surveyed some students in this case, just to make it really easy to enter. I only surveyed five, but realistically, if you're doing a real statistical study, you'd want to survey more than five students. So the questions that I asked were, how many minutes do you spend on your homework? And what is your GPA? So a student who spent 100 minutes on his or her homework had a GPA of 70. And these are the results for all five students. So I want to know, is there an actual relationship between homework and GPA? So it seems like there is. From just looking at it, it looks like as the minutes go up, so does the GPA. But we're not exactly sure. Like These numbers are pretty predictable, but we're not sure how good that relationship is. So there is a number that actually tells you the strength of the relationship of any two sets of numbers. And that number is called our correlation coefficient, also known as R. So we're going to look at how to find our correlation coefficient. And that's not the only thing that we're going to find out today. We're also going to find out what's the re if there is a relationship, what's the relationship? So what is the relationship between, in this case, minutes spent on homework, which is our x, and GPA, which is our y? Like, what exactly is the relationship? So in order to find these things out, we're going to go into stat in our calculator, and we're going to enter those values. So we go to stat. And we have to edit or list, so we press edit. In this case, we have no numbers in our list, so that's great. But if we did, we would have to clear those numbers by going up to the top, highlighting L1, and we'd have to press clear and enter. Of course, that did nothing because we had no numbers there, but just in case. Okay, so now we're ready to put in our values. And in L1, we will put our X values. So we have 100 first, and we have 210, and 240. My one is blacked out. Let's hope we don't need that. 320 and 330. And that's all we have in our L1. And now we have to enter our GPAs, which are our Y values in L2. So we have 70, 88, 92, 93, and 95. Okay, so once we have our, enter, our numbers entered, what we're going to do is calculate the best fit regression line, the line of best fit. So in order to do that, we have to go to stat, and we're calculating the line of best fit. So we have to go to calc, and then we go down to number four, where it says L-I-N-R-E-G, which stands for line of regression. And it's going to give us the equation of a line in this format that relates our minutes, or x, to our GPA, the y. So once you're there, press enter. And just make sure everything looks good. It says our x values are in L1. That's accurate. Our y values are in L2. That's also accurate. But it says we have frequencies in L2 as well. And that is not the case. We do not have frequencies in L2. So we have to we have no frequencies to list. So we just clear that. Um, of course, this is the new version of the calculator. If you don't see this, that means you have the old version of the calculator, which I believe you would see uh, this display instead. L I N R E G parenthesis. Um, 
I believe that's what you see. Um, so whatever you see, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to press L1, L2. You can leave it as is and just press enter. And for those of you who have the new calculator, once you're here, you have L1, L2 and a blank frequency list. Press enter to calculate. But there is something missing. So we can actually answer question two because this is our equation of our line. So let's put that in. So the equation of our line is, we can insert an equation here, y equals, and we have an a value, or a value is 0 0.101. So it says ax, but we have our a value. We don't have to put a, it's 0 0.101 x plus b plus b, but we have our b value, it's 63.3, so we can put that in there. And that's how x is related to y. So that basically is saying the same thing as, I could put this in in words, y, in this case, y is gpa. So gpa is equal to 0.101 times x is minutes on homework, minutes, plus 63.3. All right, but we still have a problem here because we still don't have our correlation coefficient, and we need it. Um, so you may see it in your calculator, or you may see nothing, just like I'm not seeing anything here. It should have shown up. And the reason for that is our diagnostic is not on. Um, our diagnostic is the thing that allows that correlation coefficient to show up. So I turned mine off on purpose because I wanted to show you how to turn yours on just in case it's ever off. You only have to do this once and never again. If you get a new calculator, you'll have to do it. If you borrow a calculator, you'll have to do it. Um, so here's how to turn your diagnostic on. Go to second and then a catalog, which is zero. You want to scroll down to D. The quick way to do that is to press this button because there's a little D right here. So press that button. It scrolls faster for you to D. And then you want to go down to Diagnostic On. I'm going to take my time because I don't want to pass it. Diagnostic On. Once it's pointed to Diagnostic On, press Enter twice until it says Done. Now, if you go back to Stat, Calc, and Line Reg, you should end up seeing your R squared and R value. Let's see if that worked. And there you go. Our R value is 0 0.933. And what that implies, 0 0.333, what that implies is that sorry, 933. That implies that there is a strong correlation between these two things. Um, the closer you are to 1 or negative 1, the stronger the correlation. But the closer this value is to 0, the weaker the correlation. So because this number is very close to 1, there's a very strong correlation here.